Let's get back to today's spooky top story now. Got myself for crying, walking, scratching, talking. Haunted doll! And you can own it too. A haunted old doll is on sale on eBay. But beware, it seems to be possessed by something evil. According to the sales description, right, the family claimed to have heard odd sounds since they bought the doll, which they said has an evil feel. Perhaps worst of all, they claim their toddler son has received mysterious scratches on his face in the night. Clearly, people believe, because bidding's now topped £60. So is it worth pitching in with a cheeky bid ourselves, or are the chances of evil being trapped in a hideous, ugly old toy actually there? I don't know. But let's ask spooky expert Steve Ball. Hi, Steve. How are you doing, Vic? You are right? Yeah, marvellous, thank you. I'll be honest, a little freaked out by the notion of the doll. Have you seen it? I have, I have. A friend of mine on the Haunted Nuneaton and Warwickshire uh, website on Facebook this morning actually pointed it out to me. Oh. Um, and asked me what I thought about it. Um, and I, I've had a good look at it. And I've got to say I'm a little bit sceptical. Oh, really? You do surprise me there, Steve. Yeah, well, I've actually looked into it. And the people that are actually selling this doll are actually, they actually have 15 other dolls for sale. Oh, do they? Yes. They actually have 15 other dolls along, uh, as well as various articles of clothing and bric-a-brac and things like that. So they are quite professional eBay sellers. Oh, OK. Yeah, but I flog loads of stuff on eBay as well. It doesn't, doesn't make me, you know, a teller of porky pies. Well, no, it doesn't, obviously. But, I mean, I, I would, as, a, as an investigator, I would have to actually have a look at the doll before I claimed it to be haunted, and I would like to see a little bit more evidence before I put a bid in. They're clearly spiritual pictures. I'm having a look at spiritual people, rather. I'm having a look at some other stuff that they're selling. They are clearly doll dealers, aren't they? They are doll dealers, uh, yeah. Because they've got some interesting stuff for sale, including Jesus and Mary. That's right. So, that's you know, right. that's quite nice. They've got good on one side, evil on the other. <laughs> So it's interesting. Well, at least they're covering all their bases. Equality. It's the 21st century, there Steve. You go. Yeah. There you go. But it's not uncommon for... Well, it is, it is uncommon, but it's not unheard of for uh, dolls to actually be haunted. Really? Um, I mean, if anybody has seen the film The Conjuring, uh, which I think came out a couple of years ago, and that documents uh, a study by a couple called Ed and Lorraine Warren, who were famous paranormal investigators back in the 70s, and right at the beginning of the film, they actually talk about one of their most famous cases, which was an Annabelle doll, and it was um, a Raggedy Ann doll that was given to a young lady uh, back in 1970 uh, by her mum. Her mum had picked it up at a thrift store, and she became a nursing student, uh, and she shared an accommodation with another young lady, and they started noticing that certain things were happening. Mm. Uh, they could hear voices. Um, they, uh, a friend that went round there claimed that he, he felt that the doll was evil. Um, and in the end, they actually called in a priest when they tried to get rid of the doll. And the doll mysteriously reappeared uh, in the back in the apartment after they'd right. actually trucked it in a dumpster. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it actually appeared back in the apartment. Um, and also, uh, they were in the apartment one night, they heard scuffling coming from inside this girl's room, and when they opened the door, thinking that there was an intruder in there, they found the Annabelle doll sitting in the corner of the room with what appeared to be blood coming from her hands. Oh, no. Uh, it, was never, it was never tested, it was just a red liquid that looked like it could have been blood. But they called in Ed and Lorraine Warren, uh, who also had a lot to do with the Amityville hauntings. Oh, wow. And they, uh, Ed actually took the doll from these girls and actually had it placed in a special glass case in a room where he kept other haunted objects in his house. And it stayed there ever since. Oh, really? So it, if, if it's behind glass, does it make it well, safe? Well, no, I think, I think being a spiritual people, I think they put certain um, prayers and blessings and so forth and so on on the doll to sort of keep it in this case. Uh, but there is another one as well. There was a, a, there's a doll called Robert the Doll, and he was given to a guy called Eugene, Robert Eugene Otto when he was a child in 1906 by a Caribbean maid that they had working for them. Yeah. And he, the doll seemed to actually um, almost possess the child. Uh, the, the child, Robert, wouldn't do anything without his doll, uh, which was dressed in a little sailor's suit. Um... And when he, he, he died, uh, the doll was actually given to a museum in Key West. And people have actually gone into the museum and said, wow, we like your animatronic doll, it's very clever. 
and they sort of said, you know, what do you mean? It's just an old stuffed doll. And people have claimed that they've actually seen the face change expression. Um, and they've also heard voices, a child's voice coming from the doll. Mm. Oh, my word. Uh, but, but if you actually do look on eBay, there are literally hundreds of haunted dolls for sale on eBay. Oh, really? Yeah, including one uh, which um, my uh, friend at uh, CPI, Martin Higginson, found for me this morning, which is over a £1,000. People, do you know what? Seriously, people will buy any old nonsense. I mean, well, that's it. This is, I mean, the, the other dolls are selling. To be fair, this family, they're not claiming that they're haunted. They just have loads of dolls, including one that's had a finger chewed off. Well, nice. I was going to say, for me personally, and I know yeah. I will say this is my own personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, what I would say is they've brought a job lot of dolls. And this one, which looks very, very old and raggedy, they've turned around and thought, how on earth can we sell that? Do you know what is the ugliest damn thing it I've is. ever seen? It it's is. got, like, bunny ears and a like one dirty of the lost, suit. Lost Boys from Peter Pan. Wasn't there one of those that ran around in a bunny suit? There was, but it's kind of the lost boy down the back of the sofa. That's it, the one, yeah. yeah lost, the lost like boy at the tip that's been dug up after about 20 years. Exactly. Dug up is the right phrase. That's what it looks like. And they, but the thing, I mean, I, sh I shouldn't laugh, really, because, you know, it might be true. But they, um, they've put as a, a sort of addendum to the listing, um, I need this doll gone now. And it says, um, um, I've also woken up with bruises on my leg, no explanation as to how they got there. And my eldest son has said he saw a boy in his room one night. He said like he had like a whitish face. He walked by and just flew out of the flew window. Flew out of the window. Yeah, so yeah. You never, who are we to argue, Steve? Well, that's right. I mean, without proof, I would be very sceptical, but that's just the kind of you know, the kind of person I am and the, you know, the, the way we operate as a group. But it, it could be, it could not be. You, you know listen, what I mean? You mm. pay your money, you take your choice. You do, and you pay your £69 in this case with exactly. um, one day left. So oh, I'm going to keep an eye on it. We'll see how much it goes for. But in the meantime, Steve, thank you very much indeed. Let's look for haunted dolls on eBay. That was today's big news. <laughs> Oh, bless, don't believe everything you buy. I could stay.